Hey guys, my name is uh, Gadi Gianjiri and I am an experienced designer, um, co-organizer at uh, UX Kitchen community. Today we are going to talk about industry research. So after the stakeholder meeting, which is the kickoff meeting for uh, a, a UX project, you pretty have a good idea of what problem you're going to solve at this point, right? So what comes next is um, how do you understand the industry that you're solving for? At this point, we're trying to answer a few questions about, say, the banking industry. Um, what you're going with is what are the general attitudes um, in the industry about banking? What are the policies, uh, significant policies to be aware of? What are the new trends in the last five years? And why are they new? Why did they come up? What are the current hacks in the banking industry? So like, how are people currently solving um, said problem in that space? Uh, does a need for whatever you're trying to do with um, the project owner exist? Or is just like an exciting idea in your mind? And then are people willing to pay for this product? And if so, how much? Um, first of all, do you even intend to make money? <laughs> and if you do, how big is the market that you're looking at? What's your target market? For example, if we are designing for a product um, in Kenya, we'd be like, okay, this could work in East Africa too, so how big is that market? How much are people spending towards solving that problem at the time? You don't have to have exact numbers. Just an idea will do. This sums up into something we call market research, market industry research. Tomato, tomato. So then what's the difference between market research and user research? Because those two are different things. So think of it this way. Market research or industry um, research is just understanding the space. And user research is understanding the persona that you intend to solve the problem for. So then um, how do you get to access this information? Well, isn't it a good thing that we live in 2020? 2020? <laughs> We live in the age of Google, so just Google up. There's so much information on the internet these days about every different thing. So the other thing you could do is talk to industry experts. If you cannot, if you cannot access industry experts, just someone who works in the banking industry and has been there for a while understands um, that space. You want to check for fact and opinion, and you need both in the space because you do not fully understand that space. And then the secondary research, so there's articles, YouTube videos, um, papers, and this is not your thesis, so you don't have to go hard, you just need to general understanding. Um, then the social media hashtags, which are actually pretty resourceful, so you can go to Twitter and be like, hashtag banking in Kenya, and see what people are frustrated about, what they like, and things like those. So after all this is done, you pretty much have a good idea what you're dealing with, and people's attitudes around the matter um, and you're, you're cool to go maybe into further industry research so let's say competitor analysis or whatever else you choose um, to go into well i hope this was helpful um, again if you have any questions you know what to do we'll get right back at you at the comments uh yeah like share and subscribe see you on the next video <laughs>